for those that are perfect but for those who acknowledge that we are imperfect that's what salvation is for I remember I often tell the story of when I walked to the altar I didn't care about anybody else all I care about me and Jesus I felt the Holy Spirit talking me and saying come 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 I didn't look at my friends because when judgment day comes my friends would not be able to buy me a ticket into heaven family members will not be able to buy me a ticket into heaven in fact they will not be able to save me from hell they will not be able to put their hands down and pull me out of hell so i made the decision for jesus christ to come in on that day and i never regretted that decision you are Is there one more person that will come to the altar? There must always be a public declaration, a bold step to stand for Jesus. If, you, if you've never been baptized before and you're at the altar, lift your hand. You've never been baptized. One, two, three, four, five. If you wish to be baptized, let's leave your hand up. Okay. It's important. The Bible says, in order for you to enter the kingdom of God, you must be born of the Spirit and also born of water. Come, let the young lady pass. You are I love when young people make these decisions. Come on, put your hands together for her. If you think for a moment that they don't know who Jesus is, then you are wrong. They don't know about Jesus. You see that other little one there? Come. Come. You, you step up. Look. You think they don't know who Jesus is? You think they don't know? God bless our youth. We're gonna pray. You can turn. You can sing from. Are you ready to pray, Sister Kamabach? Where are you? You will take their names. Okay. For all those who wish to be baptized, you will give your name and your number to Sister Kamabach. We will be planning the baptism soon. I will not be laying hands on anyone today. Wednesday. Thursday and Friday, I am going to save energy for those nights. Okay? So, bear with me, please. A man of God must exercise wisdom as well. Okay? So, I save energy for those three nights of service because after those three nights, we're going straight back into Sunday service. The Sunday. So, Friday. Just one day rest, and then Sunday back to church. So, last Thursday was the last time that I would ruin the Deliverance Thursdays for the year. Alright? We will continue next year. I will set the Thursday next year when we will start back. We normally do it every other Thursday. But I will let you know when we start back. Those who are at the altar, just lift your hands to Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I give you my body. All of me belongs to you. I ask you for forgiveness of all my sin. No, just softly tell God of the sin. Softly, sit in your mind, sit softly with it. Confession must be made with your mouth. So sit with your mouth softly, extra soft. Nobody has to hear this. Lord, I'm sorry for all those sins. I'm 
I'm asking for your forgiveness as I forgive all those that have wronged me. Lord, I forgive them. Lord, I release them. You take all judgment. Take all vengeance. Today, I give myself to you. Let your Holy Spirit live in me and meet me you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I pray for all those that are on the altar now. Cover them under your precious blood. I decree and declare that no devil in hell will hurt them. They will not die. They will not die. They will not die. They will not die. They will fulfill their purpose in you in the name of Jesus. I pray your covering over them. In Jesus' name. And everybody says, Amen. Give your name to Sister Kamabach, please. Those who wish to be baptized and your number to Sister Kamabach. After you, you can go back to your seats. You will give it. You will be at the door afterwards. You are Yahweh. 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 Yeah. Uh -huh. 